Hey uh, YouTube, Monkey here. Okay, so today we're going to cover a little bit about the treasure trove. Now it's not your basic what it is, why you should do it. This one is actually a little bit of uh, the inner workings and uh, kind of the math behind it. <clears throat> so just by clicking on it, you know, you see the 3% interest you get from the 7, the 27% and the 85% that you get respectively. Uh, you also get an increase in max deposit with the levels as well as an interest rate bonus. So is it worth taking your treasure trove to level nine? And are the seven days and 14 days worth uh, using or is it only the 30 day? Well, I have those answers for you and it's only gonna take a couple minutes. So check this out. All right, so the first little <laughs> chart here just kind of shows the uh, treasure trove 30-day deposit you get that 85% for the first and all the way up to 105% for the level 9 if you're using the max deposit it turns out to be a nice little payout um, the other thing that goes along with this is the army leadership max deposit research at level 10 it's an additional 10,000 gems regardless of the level your treasure trove is now Here's kind of the kicker of leveling up the treasure trove. You have to spend gems, but you also get more each month. So to get to level nine, it takes a total of 5,000 pickaxes. And if you're buying the 1,000 pickaxe packages, it's 14 gems each. That equals 70,000 gems to get that level nine treasure trove. Your level eight treasure trove, which is just a little step down from that level nine benefits is only 28,000 and you have 500 left over. So when you go from eight to nine, you have to spend that extra 42,000 gems for that extra 3,000 pickaxes. So on to chart number two. Without your deposit research being leveled up, at level eight, you can deposit 16,000 and without your initial deposit, you get a total of 15,500 uh, more than what you put in, you know? So that's profit of 15 and a half K. The level nine gives you a 21,000 profit. So that's an additional 6,000 profit right there. Uh, if you look at the totals, you know, it's 9480 but you have to take out that 4,000 difference that you're putting in in the first place. So yeah, it's that 50, 5,480, so 5,500 gems uh, additional. But if you're going to spend 42,000 gems to get from eight to nine, 42,000 divided by that 5,500 is eight, which means it's gonna take you eight months to uh, recoup those costs. Let's look down here with uh, the treasure trove, but the research at level 10, once again, the payout stays only, you know, 6,300 instead of 5,500. So you get a few hundred more, uh, but it's still gonna take you eight months to recoup those costs. So why do the level nine instead of the level eight? Well, there is a reason. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, you can kind of follow what I've written down here. Uh, we're going to compare against the level one to the level eight and level nine. So level one takes zero gems, and in 30 days, you're going to get an 8,700 gem payout. That's in addition to the initial 10,250. If you have level eight, it costs you 28,000 gems, and you get 15,520 more than the level one every 30, or I'm sorry, 15,520 every 30 days. So that's only 6,800 more than the level one. So 28,000 gems to get an extra 7,000 a month takes four months to break even. If you have your max deposit at level five, the numbers, they still stay really close. Uh, you go up a couple thousand, but it still breaks out at four months. 
the 70,000 gems that it takes to get to level 9, you get 12,300 more than the level 1 that costs nothing. But 72,000 gems, or 70,000 gems, I'm sorry, takes 12.3, or takes 6 months to break even. Because it's 70,000 divided by that 12.3k. But if you're comparing to, say, you already had it at level 8, is it worth going level 9? Well, then you have 42,000 gems, which is 3.5 months. So on that 4th month, you have broken even and showed a little profit. Uh, the numbers stay really the same with research at level 5 uh, for those comparisons as well. The research at level 10, however, zero, 0 gems for Trove level 1 gives you 17.2k complete bonus in 30 days. You know, plus your 10,000 you already put in. Um, the level 8 still takes the same amount of time to break even and show profit on that fourth month. The level 9 gets sped up a little bit because you get that 14.3k more. So if you were just spending the 42,000 to get from 8 to 9, that third month would break you even and show just a tad bit of profit. Uh, so it would take 5 months if you went from 1 to 9 to break even. But if you went from 8 to 9, it would take you 3 months. So the last thing I want to cover is, is it worth it to do the 7 and 14 day deposits? Uh, I mean, it seems like an obvious answer. 3% or 85%. Well, it's not as obvious as you think. If you take this to level, and we're going to just... Uh... Oop, that's the wrong one. Okay, so we're going to show it with level 8 and level 9. If you take it to level 8 and you have no, uh, no deposit research, and you do the 7 day, it happens every 7 days, just like it says. Well, the other one's a 30 day. So you say, well, 4 times in 30 days still going to be less than the 30 day. So we're going to multiply it by a number that they both go into. So if we do the 7 day payout 30 times and we do the 30 day payout 7 times, that's a total of 210 days and that's how many each one would complete until they both would complete on the same day so you could get apples for apples how much you actually get. So if we did the 7 day trove at level 9, 30 times, you get 138,000 profit. Only profit, not counting our initial deposit. So 138,000 profit. If you do the 14, 15 times for the 210 days, it's 141,000 profit. And if you do the 30 day 7 times at level 9, it is 147,000 profit. That is a 9,000 difference between the 7 day and the 30 day uh, once you've done it, or you know, once you're half, three quarters of the year down the road. With the max deposit, the difference between the two is 13,000. So without research, it's a 9,000. With research, it's 13,000 difference. So there's a couple ways you can look at this. Do you want to have a big payout once a month and have those gems tied up. Well, some people would like that because it allows you to basically put a savings plan so you can use all your gems and you know that you're going to have gems again at the end of the month. Other people want to continuously do their researches, get them done, get troops, whatever you use your gems for, and want to do the seven day. Well, what does it pay out every seven days? With the max deposit and a level nine trove, you get just under 7,000 gems every seven days. Well, what is 7,000 gems gonna do you? Uh, really depends on what you wanna do. That gets you some T4 troops. It could finish off a research. 
So you just kind of got to find your own niche here because it is actually worth doing the 7 and 14 day uh, deposits. They pay out better if you have max deposit as well. So that instead of getting 2400 every 7 days with the level 8 trove, you get just over 10,000. But again, if you like getting that big chunk at the end of the month, just do the 30 day. Um, I just wanted to show you that the difference is actually not as significant as you would think. So find your own preference. Anyways, um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. If I want to do the seven day or the 30 days from now on. It, I don't have the research max, so it would look kind of pitiful getting, you know, 2,400 gems every seven days. Well, benefit or bonus, because you throw the initial back into it. That's why you don't really count it. And that 30 day, you get that nice big bonus payout. So, yeah, I haven't decided. In fact, why don't you all leave it in the comments below? Tell me, uh, after seeing that the numbers are pretty darn close. Tell me what uh what you plan on doing. If you're gonna do the seven days, or if you're gonna do keep doing the thirty days. And I'm assuming you've always done just the thirty days. I think if I max that deposit, that I I might even consider doing the seven or fourteen days, because it takes. 210 days for them to hit the same. The difference is not that great. Okay, it's not that great at level 9. Look at that level 8, though. There is a 60,000 gem difference at the level 8. There's a 100,000 gem bonus with the level 1. Okay, yep. So if you have it at Trove level 9, you could do either one. If you have it at level 8 or lower, you should only be doing the 30 day. It's just, it's too significant. 25,000 gems between the 14 and the 30. 60,000 gems between the 7 and the 30, and that's for just a level 8 trove. If it's level 1, it's even more significant. But if it's level 30, okay. Or if it's level 9, that's that's all I was looking at. They're pretty darn close. At level 9. But if it's not level 9, please only do the 30 day. That is ridiculous, the difference in it. I mean, that common sense thing I talked about earlier. Yeah, it looks like only you should do the 30 day. Well, common sense now now pays off. Just do the 30 day. <laughs> but if you do take it to level 9, you are in a deficit until you break even. You, you make those gems back for, for what you had to spend on. Um, so keep doing those 30 days and with the level 8 or lower. Once you max your research, then you go to 9. Because it takes three months to break even from going eight to nine. And then you can do the seven or 14. So that is my professional medical opinion. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Please do not ask me for doctoring advice. I will not answer. Well, not a good answer. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a thing or two. And until next time, long live canine.